virus, but a uh, small part, not so many species in our checklist. Yeah. Okay, and that will be yeah all locally sourced. So my understanding that all the data are locally sourced from China. Uh, yes. From it's, Chinese it, contributors. Yes. Yes. So. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Uh, Thank you. So we're we're going to keep moving, uh, and over to Holly. <laughs> I, I, I would just say up, up front that one of the challenges that Catalog of Life faces, and which we're very grateful for Holly's and her colleagues' input, is around how to include the names for less recent organisms. Because biologically, we can understand evolutionary trees, but trying to flatten it then into a checklist is fun. Thank you. Lo loads of fun. Um, Hi, I'm Holly Little. I'm the informatics manager in the Department of Paleobiology at the National Museum of Natural History at the Smithsonian. And I'm here presenting today on behalf of my co-authors, Talia Cream, Erica Kremel, and Lindsay Walker, a project that we are just getting started on. So I don't have a workflow for you yet, but I'm gonna talk about how we're gonna hope to get to a workflow. Um, before getting diving in, I wanted to start uh, by sharing what our point of view is for this topic. So our focus is really in relation to taxonomy, primarily starting from the management of that information within fossil collections and the publication of taxonomic information alongside fossil occurrence records. Uh, within that, we're often aiming to utilize many of the tools and lists discussed here today in this session, um, and more recently, hoping to contribute to their improvement. So out of curiosity, I wanted to see who here regularly works with fossil taxonomy. That's a good showing, actually. <laughs> um, um, I also want to know either way, um, the, please look out for multiple calls for feedback and collaboration throughout the presentation. I'm happy to chat about any of this later and to receive thoughts in the Slack channel for the session. Um, much of the work we've done thus far has been in conjunction with the Paleo Data Working Group, a community of practice focused on the improvement of data-related activities for paleo collections. Since 2020, the Paleo Data Working Group has been leading discussions to define the nuances of the challenges associated with fossil taxonomy to look at the landscape of cyber infrastructure tools available to tackle these challenges and to develop community guidelines. Over that time, we've previously presented some of the specifics of those challenges here at the last two TADWIG conferences, which cover the full spectrum of issues noted in this session including data gaps, outdated and low quality data, and particularly for fossil taxa when it comes to our current infrastructure, incompatible data. Um, I'd encourage you to check those out for some of those more specific details of the challenges. This year, the Paleo Data Working Group spent uh, several virtual sessions trying to refine the challenges associated with taxonomy and attempting to define and categorize them based on various criteria like audiences, possible solutions, and scope. Um, so basically trying to break them out into more manageable chunks that we can deal with uh, over time. So this slide represents a portion of that effort. To highlight a few of those packets, we feel that the general concepts presented here are particularly apt for discussing the larger pipeline and ecosystem of taxonomic data publishing and management and how those various systems that exist in this landscape globally um, integrate with the recording of this information within a particular collection or within paleo overall. Looking a little more specifically to enable better integration of fossils information coming from tax, not, sorry, to enable better integration of fossil taxa within this ecosystem, there's a need for improved data standards, both the implementation and what is available within them, finding balance in the information coming from taxonomic experts, and resolving a need for better taxonomic authorities for fossil taxa. This is a major motivation for us joining this larger conversation. And in reality, we find that the solutions to these challenges exist on a spectrum. We need to find ways to support the full range of requirements to find in each of these examples listed here and many others. 
For example, there's often a bit of a disconnect between the information that collections have to manage associated with their specimens and the information researchers need or the information researchers are producing related to the taxonomy of those specimens. So how can we better bridge that gap? And very importantly, in the last line here, most of these challenges aren't unique to paleo. So how do we solve the ones that are while also developing solutions that help our larger and bio and geo community at the same time? All of this previous work has now led my co-authors and I to re a recently awarded National Science Foundation grant to tackle that full spectrum of challenges and solutions. This project will focus on gathering and synthesizing community and infrastructure requirements to develop a strategy for improving and enhancing the existing informatics ecosystem with particular focus on taxonomic data. As part of this grant, we plan to work directly with our ecosystem partners listed here, Tadwig, GBIF, Catalog of Life, and any others that would like to join the conversation to help define these requirements and possible solutions. We also want to better define the use of those existing taxonomic tools and data structures maintain, maintained by these organizations, not trying to reinvent the wheel or create anything new necessarily. So again, happy to partner if anybody here is interested. So over the next two years, we'll complete a range of activities summarized here. I'll get into a few of these more specifically. The key line I want to highlight here is the synthesis activities, um, which will drive our work to contribute to the improved quality of published taxonomic data. The synthesis activities will include things like distilling community feedback, evaluating existing tools and infrastructure, exploring analogous solutions in parallel communities, and developing components of a planned paleo roadmap, which is a product at the end of the project. Listed here are examples of the taxonomic data tools we aim to test over the duration of the project with particular focus on platforms for improved taxonomic authority lists and community curation of taxonomic information of fossils. And although I've already shared our ecosystem partners, I'm highlighting here those points of coordination that are critical for dealing with taxonomic information in particular. Again, if you have more thoughts that we should test, share them. <laughs> Um, throughout the workshop, a critical piece of this is the community uh, requirements gathering. So we'll be hosting two workshops over the two years. The first will be a stakeholder engagement workshop, bringing together a broad spectrum of people that work with paleo data um, and trying to help build a shared understanding across those communities of what their individual requirements are and how those can meet somewhere in the middle. Um, the second workshop aims to build shared understanding with cyber infrastructure representatives. So we'll be sharing the paleontological data requirements that we've gathered thus far and exploring opportunities for alignment with those cyber infrastructure partners. Throughout the process, we will also have regular meetings with the Paleo Data Working Group and other virtual meetings that we hope to engage the larger community in. I also want to note that um, I'm hoping that we'll have an opportunity for contribution at Tadwig next year, so keep an eye out for that. Also, as part of the larger grant project, we'll be developing a symbiotal portal for fossil collections, and this gives us a unique opportunity for looking at one possible way to assess a collaborative taxonomic list for fossil taxa, and there's some integration between symbiota and catalog of life. Um, as shown here, as examples from an existing symbiota portal used to live manage uh, arthropod data, ichthysis, I think I'm saying that right. Um, <laughs> on the left, you can see a list of names pointing to their primary sources, and on the right, a list of taxonomic user permissions, which is a good example of encouraging shared contribution and care of the data within this portal for this particular group. Because we know that there are a variety of solutions as shown in the previous solution spectrum slide, we want to build a multiple layered and many opportunity way for tackling these challenging challenges collaboratively. So the end result of this work will be a range of products, including the ones I've included here. These I'm showing because they have particular impact on the needed solutions for taxonomic information. I think the key one is the paleo roadmap. So within the paleo roadmap, 
we plan to um, define what those requirements are that we've gathered from the ecosystem partners and from our larger community. So what do we need for each of those to meet their needs for producing, managing, and utilizing fossil taxonomic information? Um, we will also have a community knowledge hub at the end, end of this. It is geared towards paleo, but hopefully also useful to other communities as well. Um, Cause one of the challenges is always implementation. So how do we help people within the paleo collections community understand how this larger infra infrastructure impacts them and can benefit them as well. Um, and then that symbi symbiota portal that I just mentioned, which will be a very useful testing ground for some of the infrastructure developments that we're aiming for. Um, and I know we're in a taxonomy session, but wanted to point out that we're going to complete a very similar process for stratigraphic information as well. So if you're interested in this, I'd encourage you to go to Susan's talk tomorrow, um, which is touching on the critical importance of being able to index and search stratigraphic information. So this is me. Again, reach out. Yeah. I don't know who goes next. <laughs>